Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in this week. Let's talk a little bit more about your LinkedIn profile and how you can optimize it for better visibility among recruiters. If you're a job seeker, LinkedIn is a critical place for you to get yourself out there and network. And one of the biggest things that you can do is make sure that you have a complete profile. LinkedIn does walk you through the steps where you can become a profile all-star and it really walk yourself through that and, and see what may be areas or sections that you're missing content in and they'll give you some great advice there. But from a recruiter standpoint, we use a special piece of the platform called LinkedIn Recruiter to search the 500 million profiles that are out there. So how do we use that tool? Um, a lot of recruiters use Boolean searches. There's a lot of different ways though to search a variety of things um, and, and filter people out, whether it's by certain locations or skills or education or years of experience. So making sure that you have a complete profile with all of your skills and all of that information will help bring you to the top. Um, when you are looking at the the details section, I suggest using you know bullet points and in sort of a resume format to outline your steps um, and, and past work history. That's going to be the best way. And don't be afraid to list your accomplishments and what you know you've done really special about that job and something that makes it unique. Because a developer at one company may be very different than another company where they have the opportunity to wear many hats and be. Being able to describe that is going to help you out in the long run. Um, the header section is also important to, you know, list what really drives and motivates you and what you're looking for. I mean, that's a good place to really kind of list that introduction and, and be sincere and, and concrete there. Um, the skills section is also important. So not only listing those keywords in your resume, but adding in your skills so others can endorse you. That is a huge thing that networking can bring to the table is, you know, I can list that, you know, hey, I'm a recruiter, I'm a great recruiter on my resume, but if I have 500 people that endorse me to back that up, how big of an impact is that gonna have on a hiring manager in a company that sees that? So a very important tip there. Don't be afraid to ask for recommendations as well, you know, from previous vendors that you've worked with or bosses or colleagues. That can also help solidify your profile as well. Something that I think some people don't realize is that there is a piece on LinkedIn where you can check that you are open to new opportunities. Check that and list, you know, you can list like job titles or locations that you're open to relocation to and things like that. Complete that. I mean, if you're really a, a job seeker and you're open to new opportunities, that opens a lot of doors. How does it open a lot of doors? It's in how recruiters search the tool. I can find a Java developer in Chicago, they'll get a billion profiles. One of the things, and this is a big secret that I do, is I filter by two things. One, by candidates that are open to new opportunities, it will bring those folks to the top of my search. Two, people that follow my company, yes. That is another key. If there's a company that you really want to work for and be a part of, if you follow them on LinkedIn, a recruiter can filter your profile to the top. Because then think about it, you know, hey, they know CSG. They have heard of us before. Maybe they do want to talk to me. And on the recruiter side, I think, you know, you, some people really get spammed out there by recruiters and that's not a good recruiter's intent, trust me. We actually get punished and blocked from sending messages if we have too many ignored messages or declined messages. So we want to send content to those that are interested and likely maybe have other folks in the network that could be interested as well. So key takeaway, follow the companies that you're interested in and really list that 
you're open to new opportunities and have a complete profile. If you're a job seeker, there's a lot of ways to make the LinkedIn platform work for you. I have honestly found a lot of my jobs in my career through LinkedIn, and I think it's really the way of the future. So if you have any specific questions on how to make this platform work for you, or if you're interested in CSG and the opportunities that we have, I'll include some links below that can be helpful for you guys to check out. So thanks for tuning in this week. Have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you next week.